Hi, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mount Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a problem you might be running into with your previews if you've updated your Swift data project to iOS 18. Now, if you take a look here in the preview, it says fatal error in backing data. So this no longer works anymore. And you can see what's going on here is I have this property that's basically returning a model container. If you look at this, it's a model container. And I use the model container to access the main context to do a fetch. And this is kind of like the equivalent of doing a query using the Swift data uh, query. And I would get data back, so it would populate an, an array of guides, and then I would just get the first one to pass into this view. Now this view, all it takes, it doesn't do its own query. All it takes is uh, one single model. So basically what's happening is the parent model or the owner of the model does the query. And then when the user taps on a row, then it goes in, into the detail. And this is a detail view right here where it passes in the, the guide and it shows the guide information and steps that are associated with that guide for whatever that guide might be. So that's the problem. So how do we fix this? Where we have a detail view that just takes one model, isn't doing a query. So I updated my book. This is Swift Data Mastery in Swift UI, and this is in the chapter called Mock Data. And I added this one page called Previewing One Row. And as you can see with that tag up in the corner, this is for iOS 18. And there's two solutions that you can use. You can see them down here in the corner. One is you can now create just one instance of a model and pass it into your view. And that's what I have here. So that friend row view, that's just a sub view. And you can see in the view above it, it's a row inside of a list where you just pass in one instance of a model instead of a, a whole array from the query. So now in your preview, you can just instantiate it by itself. You don't need a model context or model container or anything like that and you can just pass it into your view you couldn't do that in ios 17 it wouldn't work but now it does so that's a simple one but if you already have mock data and say your model say like friend model might have an array of more data that goes with it and so your preview could get pretty big um, by mocking out a bunch of data and you might already have that data already mocked out so why not just use it from your your mock data source so that's where the second solution comes in, where we're going to create a preview modifier. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then you can use this new uh, keyword previewable. And then you can actually do a query right inside the preview. It's so cool. So now you can just run a query inside your preview. And then I'm just going to use the, that, the friends, in this case, the friends array. And I'm just gonna get the first one. And that will give me one model that I can use to preview my subview for friends row view here. So in this case, we have a uh, guide and steps view that takes one guide and that's a guide model. So for the first solution, what I'm going to do is um, actually just create my guide model right inside of the preview. And that's solution number one. So let's do that real quick. And there we go. So this is the title. And then we have a description. And then I have to add an image to it. Now what I could do is I could just go into my guide model and in, if you have the book Swift Data Mastery, you'll know how to create these, uh, these properties that return a model container. And inside here is where all the mock data is created. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'll say, uh, let's grab this guide model and we can just put it right in here. And I'm just copying and pasting it because it already has uh, an image resource that's being used. Now, it also says you no longer need the return, so we're going to delete that. And then from here, we could just use that, uh, that one property that's being uh, created, guide. Now, if I refresh this, it should get rid of that error and you should see some data. Okay, good. So this is good. Um, it has your uh, description, which is right here that you can see um, has the uh, title and it's showing the image that goes along with it. There's no steps though, right? Um, so we would have to create steps and then we'd have to attach those steps to the guide model and your preview can get pretty big. So let's go with the second solution and create a preview modifier. 
and we'll use that instead. So let's uh, minimize this. And the first thing you want to do is the preview modifier is inside the uh, Swift UI framework. So import, make sure you import Swift UI. And it's a struct. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name it uh, guide model uh, preview modifier, just so it's clear for um, everyone who looks at it or watches this video that this is a preview modifier like that. And uh, this project that I'm actually working on, this is actually one of the projects, uh, one of four projects that come with the Swift Data Mastery book that I sell. Just to kind of give the readers um, a ton of examples of like how to use Swift Data in apps. Okay, so we have our, our preview modifier. Now let me show you a tip here. <laughs> and this, this is gonna make it a lot easier. So you see right here, it says, uh, it doesn't conform to the protocol preview modifier. And you can click this and it says, oh, you know, add the stubs uh, for conformance. That's not working right now. There should be two things that it adds. It only adds this one and that doesn't really help you out. So let me show you an easier way. I'm gonna hold down option and hover over a preview modifier to bring up the, uh, the help on this. And then I'm just going to copy this example that they have right here. And this is just an easy way to remember like what goes into it. So let's delete that. And then you see this first function that you have to implement is called a make shared context and it returns a model container, right? Well, your preview, if you uh, own this book and you've been doing this, or maybe you, you don't own it, but you have uh, these helper functions that return model containers or previews. This returns a model container. So instead what we're going to do is we're just going to return that since we already have it. Makes it super easy. Guide model that preview, there we go. It's static, so I don't have to instantiate it. And uh, notice I don't have the return uh, keyword here. You don't need it if there's only one line in your function, it's going to return it automatically, but you can add it if you want, if that makes it more clear. Now the second one it is your view. It's it's uh, the view that's just being returned, except the one thing that's happening here is it's attaching the uh, your context. So basically what it's doing is this context, let me show you here. Notice it's a model container. So I bet what it's doing is behind the scenes, it's just calling make shared context. <laughs> it's returning that and putting it in here. And that's probably where, where it's getting it uh, from right here. It's just getting it from here. So you, now that's probably the modifier that you're familiar with if you've used previews for, with uh, Swift data in the past. So this shouldn't look like anything new. So there we go. So we have our preview modifier. I'm just gonna copy this. And actually what I'm going to do, let's create two previews. And we'll say this one is using the uh, modifier like that. And so we wanna add our preview modifier, right? So to do that, we have to access the traits parameter and we wanna say modifier. And then we wanna add it in here. So remember I named it uh, guide model preview modifier. Oh, there it is right there. That's pretty smart, it adds it. So what now? Um, now that we have this, what can you do? Now it enables you to actually do a query inside your preview. Remember when we looked at the book, it had it right here. It had uh, the traits and then it had the modifier and then it had your uh, preview modifier that you'd created earlier. This modifier, um, I show you how to create it earlier in the book, uh, step by step. But now we can run a query inside of here, inside of your, um, your preview. So that's exactly what we're going to do. You need the previewable uh, macro first. So let's get that in there. We can delete this. There it is. And it doesn't matter if it's on one line or two lines. So let's get query on there. And then we need uh, guides like that. And it's just an array of guide models, right? Like that. So this is gonna return an array, but you only need one of them. And you don't really know which one you're gonna get. It'll come back different every time, but that should now work. And the good thing about this, if we click on the, the new preview over here, notice it has steps attached to it. So that's pretty handy um, because we're using 
the existing data that's already uh, set up in this preview property. So there you go. Those are the two different ways that you can fix this uh, issue that you might have where it says uh, you're having a problem with the backing data. And you can, again, you can just, you have two options here. You can just uh, create one instance of a model right inside your preview, or you can use the preview modifier solution and just do a query and get some data and just grab the first one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're interested in getting this Swift Data Mastery book, you can find it on my website.